hello everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for dropping by today it is sunday the 27th of june and i've just walked down pleasant street and onto the promenade and i'm on my way to work and what a beautiful morning it is for a walk As I mentioned in my other videos, I'm sorry if the sound sounds a bit different on this video because I've still got the same camera but the little piece of sponge I put over the front of my camera to stop the wind noise has come off and I didn't notice until I came out and turned my camera on. But I can't see that making too much of a difference because there's virtually no wind today it's pretty much a perfect day to film there's the sun it's still early morning so it's still over there in the east the tram tracks here it's a beautiful clear day looking over at the mountains and the Lake District and hills and, and I wish I could name all the hills that were over there I really do but I can't well, there's a bit of wind now so if you can hear wind noise I do apologise I will put more sponge on the camera when I get home And what an absolutely fantastic view this morning because the sea is out, we can see the beautiful sand, we can see the sea over in that direction, see the tower and North Pier, which everybody knows if you watch my videos that North Pier is my favourite pier. And turning north looking towards Bispham, Anchor's Home, Cleveless, Fleetwood and beyond. You can see mountains, that barrow or the Lake District. I'm sure there'll be somebody to tell me in the comments. I have like a thing where I'm really bad at geography and wondering where where places are. I mean I know I'm facing north obviously, I know I'm facing Barrow, Morecambe, the Lake District and stuff like that but I couldn't say which hills were which and put a name to any hills we can see. And I'm not even sure how much of that you'll be able to see in the video anyway. There it is, the Imperial Hotel looking as majestic as ever cars in the car park I'm so happy to see that there's people back in the hotels again and I did get asked on well, in the comments of one of my recent videos somebody asked me to give an ambassador update and I did mention in the comments that I do walk down here a lot and nothing seems to be happening right now nothing's happened for a long old while at that site but i will film it just so you folks can see and i will keep an eye on it as well so if anything starts happening or changing or being built or concreted or whatever i'll be sure to pass the update on The tram stop here I'm passing now is Wilton Parade. So that is a stop you would get if you were staying at the Imperial Hotel. There's a 
can see, it stops right outside. And Wilton Parade is that little street that just runs up alongside the Imperial. of hotels here. The President Hotel. That's looking nice and done up. There's people sat outside. It's open. There's chairs outside. Next to that is the Strand Hotel. And as we all know, on the corner is the Rutland at number 330. Although the Rutland, as we know, didn't used to be on the corner, it used to be next to the Ambassador. Oh look, there's a for sale sign. I do think that's a shame because I know that the person who bought the old Ambassador building was going to turn it into luxury sea view apartments. Because I read an interview online and they bought it they had planning permission and all the plans were drawn to update the old ambassador building and then obviously it was subject to an emergency demolition because they said it was in danger of imminent collapse. Developers probably did lose a ton of money which is awful for them and I definitely wish them all the best for the future and hope they can get some great business deals and make that up. But yeah, it's a sight now. Then I read later that it was going to be turned into a temporary car park while they worked things out. But now, as you can see, for sale, development opportunity, quarter of an acre. So, yeah, the site is for sale. So until the site is actually bought, can't see that there will be anything happening here. So we're going to take one last look. Here, a few paving stones in there, there's a few bits and bobs of things in there. They look like the toppers for the wall, it's up alongside Rutland. But yeah, this is. Spare now. It would be great if the Rutland could buy it and then they could build like a little sun lounge eatery extension on and have a car park or a little play area. I don't know. But that is the latest off the old ambassador site today. There's no change to see apart from the sale sign at the front. So until it's sold, we are not going to see any changes. You can just take a good look at that adjoining wall. That is an excellent job on that wall. That corner at the end just looks a little unfinished. But for the most part you can see that. Everything's done. I might as well just make sure I show you everything. And that's the last little bit. That last little corner is the last remnants of the Ambassador Hotel. And I actually filmed the Ambassador, the outside, not the inside. A short while before they took it down, before I knew it was dangerous, I was doing one of my prom walks and I stopped and I remarked on how lovely the building looked and how I think it would be great if it was all done up. can't remember the name of the video though, I've made so many. I'll have a little hunt around and see if I can find the footage because I've filmed the ambassador more than once when it was up there. So if I can find all my footage, I could do a little compilation of the building when it was still standing. 
But anyway, that is your prom walk, your Sunday morning prom walk and an ambassador site update. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate every single person that watches my videos because every single one of you are helping to make my channel successful and that's what I want. So yeah, sincerely thank you and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.